Hi, in this session, I'm going to cover how to create a chart with a data table. So sometimes you have a chart and you want to get some, show some level of detail uh, with the numbers, and you can do that with a data table at the bottom. So we have our column chart here, and basically a table here to give some more information. So let's go ahead and see how we create this. I have my data up here. I'm going to go ahead and select it. Control C to copy. Let's go to our next sheet here, and I'll do a Control V to paste. Now you see that um, it pay you see these hash marks. Basically, there's just not enough room in this column, and it's not showing up. So I'll just select the uh, I'll just select everything. Do a select all. You can do a select all. Or just do a Control A, and just double click the column here to get a better view here. Let's make this a little bit bigger. Or maybe 120 is fine. So now I have my, my data here. Let me go ahead and select it all. Or Microsoft's pretty smart. You can just select anything in the table as long as you don't have any blank cells that might not mess up. And you can either do a Alt F1 to insert the default chart, or go ahead and do an Insert Chart. And let's say we just want our column chart, our plain 2D clustered column chart. So that gives us a chart here. Uh, let me kind of expand it a little bit. And what we can do here is you can either go into well, let's do it the e, let's do it with the layout way. So you can either go into the labels and include data label or uh, excuse me, data table. Or you can go into design you have these default chart layouts and there is a chart with a data table down here so there's two ways you can do it you can have Excel automatically just do everything for you or you can go into layout and just uh, do it here I like to kinda go I like to actually use um, this way because it's already done but and well I'll let me show you how how it looks so you've got this already and boom it's already even given you an access title but I wanted to show you um, a little bit more the other way that's a little bit more involved but you can tweak it a little bit more so let's undo that and we'll go to layout and we'll add data table layout and we'll add it with the legend keys because we like to see we like to see our legend here we don't so we don't have to have a legend here so we can go ahead and click that and just press the delete key and let's make this a little bit bigger and let's do some little formatting so we want to see our access titles right and basically the reason why the oil consumption bar is so small is because it's all going on one access it's all referencing one access so basically our, our populations are pretty large 1.6 it's in the billions but our oil consumptions are in the millions so what we want what we can do is we can put that on a secondary access so what we need to do is click click one of them that's high that we can view uh, see now now we can see it select it and do a right click and what we want to do is format the data series and we want to put the we want to plot that data series on a secondary axis so it's going to show up here on the right click that and what see right now one thing it is doing is it's also um, kinda overlapping so in our previous graph we had we didn't have them overlap so we, we actually made that one smaller so what we can do is we can make the gap a little bit smaller so it doesn't overlap let's just make it uh, I don't know I think 400 is fine so you can use just type it in 400 close and we want to have our access here so what we can do is under layout we have our access titles so the primary access title is the one on the left here so we can have that one go to primary vertical access title uh, let's put that in the vertical title no yeah. let's try let's try the rotated title yeah and then we can double click inside 
and press the F2 key or go to the formula bar. Let's go to the formula bar and press equal. And I'm going to, I'm not going to type it in, I'm just going to have it automatically reference the header here. So I click there in B, cell B1, press enter, and it's going to reference it. And I like to do that because, let's say for example, you decide to change the, the population to, maybe you want to shorten it to pop, period, POP, and a period. So when you don't have to change it in two places. You just have to change it one place. This is going to reference it. So I'll show you an example. Let's say that we have pop. Or yeah, just pop. Press enter. You can see that it changed. Let's control Z to undo that. Now we want to have our secondary axis. So that's a that's our primary axis. Now we want to have a title for our secondary axis. We can click that. Actually, we don't need to click it. We can actually go to the layout and go to the axis title, secondary vertical axis. Let's go here. And we want to do the same, same thing. We'll just click that, double click there. And you can either, I'll just press F2. It's going to take me to the formula bar, put an equal sign, and reference cell C1. And press Enter. So now that's referenced. So I like to kind of get rid of grid lines here. Move, get rid of that. See how it's selected. You can press delete and make this a little wider because a lot of the cells are not wrapping well. And if we wanted to make this nice and pretty, what we can do is we can take some of the uh, design formats already and let's put this, uh, let's make it have a, a nice uh, beveled edge. And oil is, oil is black in color when it comes from the earth, so we can change that. I can select this and right click and format the data series and let's fill it with a solid black color. So there you go. I know I added a little bit more here. This is really for a data table but I wanted to show you how to add a little bit more of the formatting to make it clean it up a bit. But there you go. There's your column chart with a data table. Hope this helps. Thanks for watching.